Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to utilize the hidden storage part of your F-150 that is located behind the rear row seat. I'm gonna show you how you can easily fit everything that you see here and more behind that. Now, let's go over a couple things real quick. What I'm not talking about is like the under seat storage thing that I'm sure like most people know about like this guy right here. What I'm not gonna be talking about is the thing that you can buy that slides in here. You've seen it on my channel before. It kind of like slides all the way out and provides more storage under here. What I'm talking about is that. It's time to get to work. So sorry if I did that super quickly, but obviously this is the rear back. If you fold this seat down, you have all of this room back here that can be used for storage. This is my hand. I can comfortably fit my hand down in here. So that's about, that's about the width that you have to work with. And you obviously have probably about three or so feet worth of height to work with as well. And this is in addition to what you have under the seat, y'all. So you have everything that you just saw back there. You obviously, you have under here, and you have the option if you wanna buy like the extender that gives you like a storage bin that runs the length of here. But if y'all don't believe me that it is as big as I'm saying it is, I'm gonna go take everything that I just showed you back in my driveway and show you how you can easily fit some of the essentials that every person should probably have in their car comfortably, safely, and secretly back here. All right, so I grabbed everything from the driveway, show you all one more time. So we've got two piece fishing rod, both pieces right here. We've got a full size umbrella. This, I've got fishing lures in here, but that box could honestly have anything in it. We've got zip ties, interior wipes, Earmuffs, spare hat, gotta have plenty of these. Toe strap. This is a bag of jumper cables. Looks like it's already fallen into place perfectly back there. I'm gonna throw everything in here right now. I'll show you guys how nice and snugly it fits. Seat is down and we've got everything back here. We've got hat, jumper cables, miscellaneous box, toe strap, just proven to you guys, two-piece fishing rod, earmuffs, interior wipes, zip ties, umbrella is at the very bottom. You can see the handle right down there. This fits very easily. And as you can see, the seat still goes back perfectly. There is no issues here. And taking a step back here, who would ever think that there is so much stuff hidden or stored behind this back seat? Now don't worry, I'm not gonna skip over the part where I show you how to actually get this seat down to access the storage. Step one will be to come to the back seat right here, grab on your little strap here, pull and lift your seat up at the same time. Doing this actually brings this seat a little bit far forward, which re um, reveals the latch that we need to get our uh, fingers back there and pull up on. Now there's actually a ton of aftermarket third party like utility latches and stuff that they sell online for this specific thing. But truthfully, it's not that hard. I just use my finger, I get back there, I pull up on it and then the seat just naturally falls forward. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So we're behind the seat right now. This is my hand. This little stub right here, just get your finger down there or you can use zip ties or you can buy something else. Uh, all you have to do is pull up on that and then this seat will come forward. I'll show you guys in real time. I've got the bottom part up here, which reveals the part back there that I need to get. Get your finger back there, pull up, and after you've done that, you'll hear a click. So once you pull this bottom seat down, the top part falls forward. Sorry if I flew through that. I'll walk you guys through it one more time. We'll do this all in real time together, y'all. All right, so we'll start with the seat being down. So what first thing you need to do, pull on this little strap right here, raise the seat up. Doing this gives you enough room to get your hand back here to pull up on that knob that we just talked about. Once you've done that, you hear a click, 
and this seat is able to fall forward. I like to pull my seat down like this and then this guy will fall right forward. I'll show you guys right here a much closer example of what's actually happening. This guy right here that kind of moves a little bit, this little nub, that's what I'm talking about. That latches on to this guy right here. As you can see, there's kind of some wear and tear right here from that latch, but that's where it is. So by pulling up on here, this little latch is able to release from back here, which in reality <laughs> is actually the only thing keeping that seat back there from falling forward. And once you've gotten everything back here, um, I've kind of just got like all like the fun essentials, but truthfully, if you kind of needed like a bug out bag or maybe you've got something that goes click clack bang that you don't you know, want to keep under the seat, but it's too big for the center console. You could definitely easily fit that back here. You've got the entire width of the truck to work with. And the storage also goes all the way behind that seat right there. I'm obviously just not touching it because I've got the car seat base over there, but the storage does in fact run all the way back underneath and behind that seat. So once you've gotten everything there and you feel comfortable with it, just raise this guy up, give a little click, just giving you an example of how it just how easily it snaps back in place. And now, now you're taking full advantage of all the storage and functionality that this truck offers. So there you have it guys. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. If it was, please like this video. Please drop a comment down below either saying thank you, that was helpful, or giving me an idea for what kind of video that you all would like to see next on my channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that too. It's free. Why not? Join the club. We're out here. We're having a good time talking about trucks and cool things that you may not have already known. This is my 2020 F-150. This is the truck that we're using it on today. I believe... I don't know how far back this goes to be honest, but I believe that this should apply all the way back to at least the 2015 models, potentially even the like 2013-ish model as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and I will do my best to get back to every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.